And like you said, you're a horse rider, so throw your leg down over like you're getting on the saddle. Hey, hey, I'm Dr. Nashley Cephas, and I'm a principal AI scientist at Amazon Web Services. Today, we're in Las Vegas, Nevada at Vegas Balloon Rides. And we're gonna show one of the owners, JJ, how to use some generative AI. So come on. So what makes Vegas an ideal place for a balloon ride? Well, the weather is very stable here. Aside from the fall and winter weather changes, it's very consistent year round. Awesome, awesome. So tell us about what type of customers you get in. Weddings, engagements, graduations, uh, the old couple just trying to cross off their bucket list all across the board. How many people can fit in one balloon ride? As little as one or as big as 16 in one basket. Okay, do you mind giving me a tour, taking a look? Yeah, let's go. This is really cool. I've never seen one of these up close in person before. <clears throat> Beautiful. How does this whole balloon thing work? These are your burners. It's gonna go ahead and pump heat into the balloon and lift us up. Then we have one rope at the top of the balloon. Okay. So that's how we let some heat out when we wanna start coming down. Gotcha. And as the owner, what hats do you wear? I do HR, marketing, payroll, and then I'm out in the field pretty often. My business partner and lead pilot here, Jeff, has been teaching me for the last couple of years. Gotcha. You're not currently a pilot, but you're studying to become one? Yes, soon to be. Wow. So if you had an assistant, what would you have the assistant work on? It would definitely be something to predict our next month or next week of weather. We've been doing our best to manually track data, but if it could be more plug and play, yeah. that would definitely be ideal. I would love to show you a little bit about Journey of AI. This is our generative AI tool. It's called Party Rock. Party Rock lets you create apps using AI just by providing a simple prompt. It's kind of cool. You have like a, a big funnel so yeah. you have to get more and more specific every yeah. time you move down. Yeah. I know we talked about um, getting some help building an actual mobile app for you all to help with weather patterns and predicting whether or not to fly. And so we can't do that with Party Rock all in itself, but we can help you create a roadmap on what that software development process looks like. I'd like to create a technical roadmap for building a mobile app to predict an ideal hot air balloon flight date. You can hit generate and see what it comes up with. So it's thinking about what to create and it's incorporating all of the prompt info that you gave it. There you go. All right, so this tool will help you create a technical roadmap for developing a mobile application. So it's kind of acting like a project manager is saying, hey, phase one is the planning and requirements gathering, and it takes two weeks. So week one, you would define the project scope and objectives. Week two, defining the system architecture. For example, technologies being used. Phase three is the actual development that takes eight weeks. It even talks about weeks nine through 10 for your interface, and it just keeps going. Your testing phase, obviously, is very important too. Goes all the way to the post-lunch. Hmm. So, is this helpful in helping you at least understand what it would take to build an app like that? Absolutely, it's very in-depth. I mean, from ground zero all the way to the top floor. As a software developer myself, I can say that this is pretty spot on. If you were to hire a software development team, you kind of use this to see how well they measure up. What do you think about all of this and could you potentially use it? Absolutely. To be honest, when I had the idea, I didn't even know where to start and now it's just step by step by step. Most important question is saying the total estimated cost for this particular app, given the roadmap and the hourly rates that is presented. I don't think I could have put those numbers together myself. Mm -hmm. I was thinking somewhere more in the six figures, but that's actually a little bit more approachable than I had in mind. I wasn't sure how to start this project. Having the whole roadmap laid out in front of me, it's a bit easier to digest. But now I feel like I'm actually coming to the table knowing a little something. Three things I want you to take away. Number one, just start. A lot of people are intimidated by the technology, but you really just gotta get started. Number two, AI is not perfect, so you should always keep a human in the loop. And number three, remember to experiment with the inputs and the parameters of the models to get the output that you want. You shared your world with me and I'll share mine with you, so why don't you come for a flight?